Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this session, we'll continue with accounting basics for sales and purchasing. We'll start with financial settings. We'll cover some general accounting conventions and give example of automatic general entries that are created during the sales, purchasing, and inventory processes. We will also talk about some financial settings that affect these JEs. Financial settings. Automatic posting of general entries by documents and automatic general entry values. We will review the necessary financial settings and how they affect the general entries that are automatically posted by the documents. Which accounts to use automatically? First is the general ledger account determination and second is control accounts. These two are important topic to understand which accounts to use automatically. The sales quotation is copied to sales order and then delivery and an air invoice. These are the documents that create automatic general entry and affect the accounting. In general entries that are automatically posted by documents in SAP Business One. So how does the system know which accounts to use? The system knows which accounts to use because when you initialize SAP Business One, you define default general ledger accounts related to specific business processes in GL account determination window. In this window you also define control accounts that link the business partner sub ledger accounts to the general ledger. GL account determination. GL account determination windows can be linked with two headings default GL methods and advanced GL account determination. First let us review how accounts are determined for items used in business processes. As we mentioned when you first implement SAP Business One you define GL account to be used when transactions are created during the different business processes such as sales, purchasing and inventory. These default accounts are defined in setup menu under administration module. Under setup you will find a section of financials for which includes the transaction for GL account determination. When items are used in transactions, there are two options for account determination. In traditional solution, the system looks for default accounts based on account determination set in the item master data. Starting at version 9.0, you can work through the advanced solution for account determination. The advanced solution provides a centralized metrics to determine rules for assigning GL accounts in general entries according to predefined closed that is list of criteria. Both options are based on general account determination window. We will discuss these options in manage the account topic. Control accounts. These accounts act as link between business partner subledger and GL, account receivable and control account and AR invoice. In GL account determination window, you also define the control accounts, account receivable for sales process and accounts payable for purchasing process. A control account links the business partner subledger accounts to general ledger. You need to define a general ledger account as control account in chart of accounts. Whenever you post a document to a business partner, the system automatically registers the general entry to the business partner master data, account balance and the control account balance. You cannot post general entries directly to a control account. In an AR invoice, for example, when the customer is debited, the account's receivable account is also debited. The general entry appears now in both accounts balances the customer and the control account. Chart of accounts. The business partner master data balances do not appear in the chart of accounts. Only the receivable and payable accounts appear. The receivable and payable accounts accumulate the customer and vendor's transaction in their balances. Therefore, the chart accounts presents the complete financial status of the company. The financial reports also show the full picture. For example, the balance sheet contains the accounts receivable and accounts payable. So you can see that the general ledger contains of assets, liabilities, caps and res, turnovers, cost of sales, operating costs, non-operating and tax plus externals. 
automatic general entry value. We have learned how the system understands which accounts to use in automatic general entries. This is done using the values defined that are in general ledger account determination window. But how does the system understand the value to be credited and debited in those general entries? For example, in an automatic general entry created by an AR invoice, how would you answer this question? Value calculations pertaining to sales. Let us understand with some of the topics that we have learned before. Here is a common scenario of how prices are set in SAP Business One during the sales process. In the following slide, we assume that no special prices or discounts were defined for involved items and business partners. Our customer, Central Solution, asked for an offer of four portable media players. The one who creates a sale quotation C chooses the customer and then the item. The price per unit appears in the quotation. The item master data includes three optional prices for this item. First is purchasing price list, reseller price list, and retail price list. Each of them is represented in different price list. The central solution is a reseller customer and so his default price list is defined as at the master data record as reseller price list. Therefore in the sales quotation the unit price of portable media player is 110. The price from the reseller price list. The salesperson enters the quantity of 4, the total value of quotation is 440, assuming that there are no additional items in the quotation and there is no discount that is involved and the freight charges or tax amounts that are zero. So the central solution mails us the sales order based on the sales quotation. In SAP Business One, you can copy the sales quotation to sales order. So, from the warehouse, the manager dispatches the company truck with weekly deliveries, including four portable media players for center solutions. Later on the day, the accountant copies the delivery to AR invoice. Since no change was done to the price during the copy to process, the invoice total is 440, and these are credit and debit amounts in the automatic general entry created by AR invoices. Value calculation with respect to purchasing. In the purchase process, a common scenario of how prices are set would be, let us assume that the warehouse manager issues a purchase order of 10 portable media players. He chooses the vendor such as South Tech Solution and then the item portable media player. The price per unit appears in the purchase order. Since South Tech Solutions is a vendor, his default price list as defined at the master data record is purchasing price list. Therefore, in the purchase order, the unit price of portable media player is 100. The price from purchase list for the portable media player item master data. The warehouse manager enters a quantity of 10. The total value of purchase order is 1000. Assuming there are no additional items in the purchase order, and that no discount, freight charges or tax amounts are added. The warehouse manager emails the purchase order to the vendor. After a few days, the warehouse manager receives a delivery including 10 portable media players from South Tech Solutions. In SAP Business One, he copies the purchase order to GRPO. A week later, the invoice from South Tech Solutions arrives via mail and accountant copies the GRPO to an AP invoice. Since no change was made to price during the copy to process, the AP invoice total value is 1000. And these are credit and debit amounts in the automatic general entry created by AP invoices. Value calculation according to inventory. Let us understand how GRPO that the warehouse manager entered in the previous slide that was based on delivery he got from the vendor. Assuming that the company runs perpetual inventory an item cost value is being calculated automatically in each stock transaction. More details on perpetual inventory are provided in the separate course. When the warehouse manager enters the good recipe to SAP Business One, 
the purchasing price list value 100 per unit affected the unit price in the GRPO and also the item cost value. The item cost value is calculated automatically behind the scenes. According to valuation method chosen for item moving average FIFO and standard. This particular item was set up as moving average so based on the total number of items in stock and purchase prices previously paid. The calculated item cost value after GRPO was 90. Warehouse manager entered a quantity of 10 portable media players. Therefore, the total value of general entry created by GRPO was 1000. These are the credit and debit amounts registered in the inventory default accounts. However, the value of general entry linked to the delivery sent to the customer is 360. That is the quantity of 4 items multiplied by the item cost value at that moment that is 90 remember that the total value of invoice based on the delivery was 440 it was calculated according to reseller price list that is 110 per unit that is defined as default price list in the customer master data record so we have learned about now the account balances that tells us different between total debit transaction and total credit transactions in each general entry, a certain account increases value and another decreases value. Assets, expenses and drawing accounts are generally in debit. Liability, revenue and capital equity accounts are generally in credit. In automatic JEs, the system understands which accounts to use for defined default general ledger accounts in GL account determination window. These default accounts include control accounts that link the business partner sub-ledger account to GL. Thank you.